In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to do contour cutting. The first thing you need to do, though, if you haven't already, is to actually calibrate your cutter. So we come up here to the vinyl spooler, go to the connection here, and we click Set Up Device. And we've got these options here to actually calibrate our cutter. This is very important. We do this before we start contour cutting. Most of you will have an arms cutter, so you come to this wizard here and you follow it through, and this will make sure that your arms cutter cuts as accurately as it possibly can. So you must make sure you remember to do that. So we want to contour cut this, so we come up to here and we click Contour Cut Wizard like so, and you can see that this file loads directly into here like this. Now we've got our arms cutter that we've decided to use, and if we uncheck that, it'll use it as a laser cutter. If we check that back on, it'll go back to an arms cutter. Arms is far more accurate. We also have these options about how we want to deal with the artwork itself, in other words, the printed part of it. But let's first decide how many we want. We want 2x2 two two like so and we've got all these options like weed boxes and things like so that we can set for our contour cut job right now what we're mainly interested in is building these contours so now what we're going to do is we're going to create the contour cut line so there's two things going on here there's the printed artwork and there's the contour cut line so we've just created that here and we can adjust it and make it bigger smaller etc like so and as you can see that blue line represents where the cutter will cut around the particular job we've printed and as you can see here in these previews uh, we can see the print and cut together, like so. So that's how we get to this stage of building the contours. Next we need to decide, are we going to print it as a PDF, print it directly to the printer we've got on our desktop, let's say, or save it as a PDF so that we can get someone else to print it out for us. You know, someone with a large format printer or something who will print out the artwork and give it back to us and then we can cut it out. So here we'll just save it as a PDF as an example, and the program will go through the motions and save it off. As you can see, it saved it like so, and I can then give it to somebody, uh, give that job to someone. I can print it directly using my own printer like so, and if I click print here, it will just print it directly to my printer. Off it goes, and the job's printing out. Once the job's print out, the next thing to do is cut it. So we can come along here and say, OK, cut, and we need to set uh, our type of cutting. At the moment we're using arms. If we wanted to use laser, we can change it to four point laser here. Four points is much more accurate, but we're using an arms cutter. So we could rotate this around and do all sorts of things. Really, that's up to us what we want to do there. Once we're ready, we click cut now and proceed with cutting comes up. And it's as simple as that. You click yes and the arms will go off and detect the job and uh, start immediately cutting around and creating the contour cut job. So that's how contour cutting is done, and that's the end of this lesson. Thank you.